Hey there, back with another video. I hope all y'all are doing well. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to add fonts to your iPad to spice things up whenever you're designing either presentations or graphics. You can just add that font to your iPad and spice things up without using the stock fonts that come preloaded. If you're new here, my name is Tyrone and I do a lot of different reviews and I'll occasionally do travel videos. So definitely, if you're into that, subscribe and like this video for more content like this. Let's get started. So we're gonna add a font to the iPad and we'll be able to use it if we're in design for Adobe or Infinity Design, um, if we're using like PowerPoint or Keynote, any software that requires a font and we want a particular font compared to the stock fonts that's on our iPad, then this is the method that we'll use. So first, we'll um, make sure that we have iFont downloaded. iFont will look similar to this. Um, there's other um, apps as well that we can use fonts to definitely use to put on the iPad but I found that iFont is the best one to get all of our fonts. Even you can search for fonts on iFont all through the app. These are all of the fonts that I have currently installed now that I use on different projects. Um, if we wanted to find a particular font, I usually use FontSpace and that I really love their um, website and how you can find different fonts, um, whatever you desire. But I'm going to say I found a font offline. Uh, a good font browser to have that has like really good, nice free fonts is Pixel Surplus. So I'm going to do this font. I really like this font and it looks really, really good on different designs. And I definitely could use this particular font. So I am going to download this font and I can get the free version this is totally free and we'll check out and then once that finishes then it will give me an option to download so basically whenever I download my fonts if they're off of a website instead of iFont I download them and of course they will go to the files folder which is basically like documents and different things that you have on a computer but iPad has files so um, once that downloads and files I'll just make sure I know the name I'll go back to iFont and this is where you go to installer this will be the main page that you have whenever you first open up the application so to get a font that is from Safari and that you have Maybe you have a new font on your on a hard drive or SD card. Import from all of that. Um, so you'll just import here. You'll find the font. So that's my font um, name there. I'll go ahead and hit that and import. So it's going to import. So once that imports, that particular font is going to be the first font. So that's the font right here that's going that you're going to install. So you just uh, hit install. Um, you'll hit allow, close, and so now the font is there, but you have another step. You have to go to you have to go to settings, and you have to go to profile download it. So once you go to profile download it, you'll hit install, and the, the font is installed. So now that font is there, and you're able to use that on your next design because it does not require you to restart your iPad or anything. So I've downloaded a lot of fonts um, from iFont. So that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider giving it a like and stay tuned for more content like this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.